What's the date today? Hello, everybody. Oh, it's Maysville. Hello. Hello, my beautiful friends. How is everybody doing today? Happy, happy Thursday to you. <laughs> happy Thursday. So I'll just wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for Cami to come in and we're gonna go live. So we wanted to go live. Good morning, good morning everybody. Happy Thursday to ya. I need to do more lives. Every day I think I should be doing a live for everybody. <laughs> Just to bring a little bit of positivity, a little bit of Kelly Butterfly positivity to the community. So me and Cami wanted to go live today, right, to just touch on social media, looking at, you know, if anyone's got any questions, we can, we're going to give some hints and tips. Hashtags. Have you seen what I did a reel there just now? I meant, I'm going to do a story about it. Yes, hashtags have now been limited limited to 10. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if anyone else has tried to do a live in the last hour. Things are changing. Things are changing on Instagram, my friends. So just be wary of that um, the next time you're uploading a reel. Yes, because I certainly was like, oh, because it came up. Hello, Chris. Right, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to get Kami on. Right now, he says, we've got a little technical hello. Welcome everyone, everyone is welcome here. Everyone is welcome. We're just, just gonna wait for Kami to come on. So yeah, we're just gonna go over, we're just gonna go over um, some hints and tips. And there, look at there with the hashtags, look it's changing already with the hashtags no i don't think in your stories but definitely like with definitely cami can you are you able to get on bear with me my friends Alive. it's not it's not letting me add you in Maybe there's been maybe there's been an Instagram an Instagram update for that overnight. We can't get you in. We will. There we go. Cami, I've definitely invited you. It says that I've invited. I requested. I requested. Let me in. Do do do. Has it worked? Sorry about this, everybody. We will get, I will get Cami in here. There we go. Should work now. It should work now. Welcome, my awesome friends. And if anybody's got any questions for us as well, and we can put something together and we can answer. Oh no, why are you not able to join? Guys, bear with me. Right, I might have to do something. I'm like, let me in, let me in. Obviously, it's like, been a not that I'm not aware of. I know. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good, good evening. Afternoon. Good morning. See, yeah. we've got like other other ends of the world here. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's so fun, though. I love that, and I love that we've met here, and that you can continue to meet other people because. That's what this is about, being social on I know. social media. I know. It's so, so cool. And the thing is, you know what? We've met on here and we're mm -hmm. such good friends. 
friends now and I'm so yeah. grateful honestly I'm so grateful to have Cammy. if you're not like if you're not following Cammy, go and follow her now yeah you should, please please I'm please go I... and follow her she's amazing and yeah, I was definitely I was because we wanted to come on to talk about like social media and how it can work for you and your business and give some hints and tips as well but I was just saying Cammy, that already I went to do a reel there and I was only allowed to add 10 hashtags. Like I actually came up and oh, yeah. said you can only add 10 hashtags. Things so are they are making changes. It's, cha changing. So there it's changing. There's so many things that are changing and it's so fun that it's changing because it means that we have to stay on our toes and figure it out. Yeah. We go. Yep. Nobody's an expert no. here, right? Like we're all learning and that's what's no. so cool. Before we get started, I this is our thing. Do you got your chapstick? <laughs> we do a chapstick. We put it on. Okay. We here's the first thing, guys. You're gonna do you're gonna do lives. You better have chapstick on. Okay, it makes you look better. <laughs> plus, yeah. plus your lips don't stick. Everybody. <laughs> you yeah, gotta do the right got thing. The chapstick. We're sorted. I know. Look at my head. You're, all you're seeing is my eyeballs. So, where do we begin, guys? Where do we begin? It's a big. I think. I think everybody wants to know how long. So we all pretty much have met because of your platform. So let's start there. Like, let's start with how the heck are you growing this organically? I know, and it is a hundred percent organically, guys. I mean, that, this is the thing. I don't know if you know this, but two months ago, wait, what date are we on? Two and a half months ago, I had 400 followers. And I was just so that like, was me. Ugh, I was following I'm going you to be telling 400. the truth. Yes. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I was, TikTok's where my head was at. Yeah. And I was doing all my content there. And I was just turning it back into Insta. And I just was like, this isn't working for me because this is not, it's not pushing it's not producing what I want. Instagram is where I want to push myself and my business because I have always been taught that and I always push this to my clients because I am I am a social media coach, right? Mm -hmm. And I always say Instagram is the front of the shop and the TikTok and other platforms are the back, yeah. right? So Instagram okay. it, for me, was it's important that that's the front of my shop. Yeah. So I want it looking good. So I decided to change things up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start making things fun. And I remember I saw a post. And do you remember, this is when, the, if you follow me, I'll follow you back craze mm -hmm. started. And I just was like, I'm not very good at this. I remember the post yeah. that I did as well. It was like, I'm not very good at this, but yeah. I'm going to do it. And let's just build an amazing community. Mm -hmm. And that is still growing. I still get like yeah. followers from that <laughs> from that real yeah. and that i just changed my mindset mm -hmm. because i don't it's not about the numbers and this is what i'm trying to instill into everybody out there yeah. stop focusing on your numbers mm -hmm. and focus on your interaction your community yeah. and that's how this all came about i think so too i completely agree in that sense like you can have one post that does so well because of the engagement, because of the relationship that you build out of there. I just saw a question come in. Well, how do you how do you make money off of a post? Well, guess what? You may, you put the post out there and then you start having conversations with the people that are commenting and you're that are liking and they're in your DMs. And then sooner or later you're gonna you're going to probably make some money to, if you have a product or a service, right? Because they're yeah. they're buying you. They're not buying your product or your service. You know, no. I just Three weeks ago, I got three coaching clients all within seven days. I had only met one of them. <laughs> I'd only known one of them. The rest yeah. of them have all been connections off of here. And that's the thing is it's the constant conversation. So that one post that you did led to this massive movement, pretty much, of people saying, hey, you know what? Yes, I want to be real. Yes, I want to show up as I am. Yes, I want to be able to build authentic relationships. Yes, positivity community all day long and that's what it is is that people are just like give this to me because i'm tired of the aesthetic i'm tired of the fake i'm tired of only showing the happy parts of my life right yeah and that's the key to this i think that's exactly. the special sauce put the sauce but on for top, me because that's the thing 
But the way that the coffee thing came around was mm. one day I was out for a walk and I was like, how can I really take this up a level? How can I start, like, give people, like, featured, like, mm. you know, really push them? And I immediately started off with, well, if you buy me a coffee, I'll make you a reel that you can post on your page, right? Mm. And I did this for about a week and it just didn't sit right with me. And again, I was out for a walk and then it hit me. I was like, Kelly, you are the reason, like, you are going to build this. You know that thing where they say build it and they will come? That's right. That's what I did. Yeah. So I turned it around and I messaged the people that had bought me coffees. And I said, and I'll, not, I'll never forget the first person, it was Whitney. And I said, look, I don't want you. Because she did, her. she put the video. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I yes. do. Her and her beautiful curly hair and big blue eyes. I don't know. Oh, she's so, she's sweet. so beautiful. Yeah. She was my yes. first coffee and I'll never oh. forget her. I'll never oh. forget that she was That's my awesome. first coffee. Yeah. And I said, look, I need to put your video on my page. Yeah. And she was like, genius, I'll go, do go for it. And then, and, yeah. and then I did. And then that's how it all came about. And, and it's, uh, I just love helping people. I want to help as many people as I can grow yeah. their own community and just have fun again. Like, just have fun on Insta. Who cares? Just be you, be yourself, yeah. be positive, be the butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that that's the key to it, right? Like if you can figure out who you are and just show up as who you are and who you want to be. And here's the, here's the difference. So I work with clients one-on-one -on -one in group sessions. I'm a business coach, right? And consultant. So if I show up here with makeup on and my hair in ringlets and in heels and then all of a sudden at 8 p.m at night you and i are having a coaching session i'm showing up in my pajamas these two things are not meeting and you're like whoa where'd the cami go that i thought i was getting <laughs> right like i'm gonna show up how i am and that's the thing is that yep. you want that to to match so if your feed and your story and you are all matching it's a it's a trifecta it's beautiful it's beautiful. Exactly. And I'm all for and that's the, the only way you can grow organically is be yourself and yeah. enter. And we talk about this a lot because me and Cammy talk a lot. Like engagement is a hundred percent key. Yeah. You cannot just put a post mm -hmm. up and walk away and then a week later be like, Well, why is it not why am I not growing? Why is it not done well? Because right. you've not interacted. Yeah. You've not actually went back and went, Hello, um, Barbara. Yeah. You Barbara know, so and I, I just had a client the other day. He, she said, "Oh my God, I had this, I had this um, reel of mine blow up. It went viral. She had like, I think over a million views on the thing." And she goes, "But I'm not making any money. I don't know what's going mm -hmm. on. Nobody's actually going to my website and buying what it is that's going out there." And I asked her one thing. I said, "So the people that are liking your 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 post, I said, are you going back in there and seeing if there's a connection in there that maybe." This might be an ideal client or even somebody that you're just vibing with. Are you following them and having a good conversation, starting a conversation past them liking your message? When I first started out, if I saw that you liked me, I would jump into the DM. I'm like, hey, thank you so much, Kelly, for supporting my post today. I really appreciate it. Yes. Just it's have conversations. Yeah. Yes. But not be, be a robot. Actually right. be you and actually like care like I, I absolutely i i speak to people that haven't bought me coffees i'm just going to be honest and i i know about their kids i know about because I, I i care like I, I don't care if you've not bought me a coffee you're still part of my community you're still part of my life yeah i mean that genuinely yeah. there's so many people that i talk to and i know about their family i know about what's happening with their next door neighbor dog maybe not but <laughs> you know it's <laughs> Put some heart into it, like, it's true. And, and that goes with everything that, that I think that we want that we want to talk about. You know, yeah. you, you have to be you, and you have to mean what you're saying as well. Like, don't be fake, don't be a robot. And, and that crosses you know? right over into business. So, if you are a business owner and you are trying to build a business here. It is so good to know the clients that are walking into your store or showing up on your social media because 
if their yep. dog just died or they just had a baby or they just got married or any of those pivotal moments or maybe their daughter just graduated high school right like to be able to know that and then to ask them that hey how's it going how's your daughter doing in school totally. hey how's this happening for you? that communication here's the thing is that they won't care until you care right so start to care and here's here's my tip you're like well, i don't know i've got 15,000 people on my instagram how do i keep track of all of it guess what straight up excel pull up an excel sheet and say hey you know i'm talking to kelly and kelly told me that this was going on with her and make sure that you keep it all together That's so that great. way next time you're messaging yeah. kelly you can follow back up and say hey kelly i was thinking about you all the graduations are going on how's this happening or hey you're in dubai i just saw that this is happening are you okay because you're in dubai and i knew that because i put those two things together probably on my spreadsheet because i'm a nerd right like i need to be able Not to keep it organized and here's the thing is that every good business has a crm this is no different if you are an, ex yep. an online business owner and you do not have a way to track who it is that you're communicating with on a regular basis, yep. what are you doing? Million percent. What are you doing? Right? Here's your, here's your sign. If you need a sign, go pull up Google Docs and, or Google Sheets or pull up Excel or pull up Airtable or any of these platforms and start a pipeline. Because here's the thing. I know Amy works with kids. Guess what? Yep. If I know somebody who has a young kid, I'm going to refer them to Amy, right? Yep. Yep. If I know somebody needs social media management, I'm going to refer them to you, right? And if you guys know somebody who's trying to start a business, so. you're going yep. to refer them to me. <laughs> yep. it's, this is the way it works. And here's the thing is the more you can, CRM stands for customer relationship management. If you need a free okay, one, good. I recommend HubSpot. Super simple, super easy. It's completely free to get started. Do not upgrade. I've been running a business off of it for years for free. Yep. So HubSpot.com, super cool. I'm um, sorry, I saw that question come in. So I wanted to answer it really quick. Um, yeah, so let me pass the ball back to you. Let me ask you this. How do you stay, so how do you stay accountable to social media goals? What is your take on this? Because you're helping other companies get their hit their goals put content out how what do you what is your standpoint on this what are your thoughts you know that's a tricky one because someone actually said this to me a couple of weeks ago and i was like oh i didn't even realize that that's what i was doing because i mean i deal with what say like over 40 different businesses mm. right mm. and i'm essentially marketing separately yeah. oh you know and i genuinely I don't even know how I'm able to do it, but I literally just click into, like, say I'm working for, if I'm doing something for you, Cami, I'll yeah. instantly, I'll go into, because I'm, I'm spreadsheet as well. Yeah. Amen. I love, I love a spreadsheet. And like, my spreadsheet is a bit crazy, but I, I understand it. And I'm like, you know, I was like, hold on. Stage. We need a spreadsheet for all of this. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be back with you in five seconds. Oh I love a spreadsheet. I'm, but I immediately, I click out of, so say I was just talking to Sarah, boom, that's finished, close the door. Right, I'm into the next room. What? And I can literally just channel myself into that. But keeping myself accountable, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not easy every day. And that's me being truthful. Like, let's not sugarcoat this. Oh, no. It's difficult. Yeah. With my field, I, I, I have got a job. Like yourself, Kim, you've got a job too. I do, yeah. But this is my heart and soul. Like, I, 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 like, I, I don't think I need to even say that because I, I hope that you can see that it's my heart and soul. Yeah. But my accountability is this is what I, I've always wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud of myself that I've taken yeah. the guts. I'm not going to say the, the B word, but I've got, you know, I've taken the step to do it. Yeah, and every day I, I just I count my blessings, and I'm so humble to have you all. I like yeah. to have this community, but it's ours. It's not mine. It's ours, yeah. and I think that's the difference. Like when you're trying to build a community, right? You mm -hmm. should. It's a. It's a. A community is you're all holding hands. You're all linked arms. Sure. It's not. You know, there's no I in team. This is exactly the same for your community right yeah you're all linking arms you have to listen the communities change all the time as well you've got to listen to what your members are saying 
Yes. You've got to listen to each other and you will build yes. the most amazing community, I promise. Yeah. You know, and I hope that I can keep channeling people off, you know, meeting new and you're great at that. Like if you've ever met a networker, go <laughs> Cami is such an amazing networker. <laughs> Yesterday like we had it, yeah. an amazing call with two with Sarah and Leslie and it was so cool yeah. to be a part of that. Yeah. Watch this space. Yeah. I mean well, and it's so cool to network. I mean, I know this like jumps off for a second, but networking is is actually part of your entire goal. Like out of every action, you're like, oh my God, what should I do today for my business? I'm frantic. I don't know what I should do. Go say hi to somebody. Go find out about them. Find out what it's, it is that they need. Find out what it is that they do. What is their yep. vision? What is their mission? What is their passion? That is the greatest task you can do in a day in your business. Yep. Why? Why? You're probably asking why, because when you become a people connector and you can start putting that together, you can build massive, like just huge directories, really. I mean, I've been networking now for almost 20 years and my business directory of people I've met face to face is almost 10,000. And then there's this other aspect of my online database that I've created. And it's like people I have connected with or I've stayed in touch with throughout the years. And you're like, well, I don't know anybody well go pull out your yearbook and sit find out the girl that you sat next to in kindergarten yeah. <laughs> go find yep. out what she's doing these days right like yeah find out use, who she knows use your fingers use your mouth let's go yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing is it's and, and maybe people are like oh but that person you know joe over there joe's not gonna joe joe's just works at the gas station he doesn't he doesn't know nobody Bull honky, you guys. Joe knows a lot of people walking in and out of that gas station. It's not about sometimes yep. who who they are. It's who they know. Who do they 100%. know? I was just having this conversation the other day with Chris. I was like, no, you have a huge list of people that you may be acquaintances with, but who do they know? It's it's the sphere of influence, right? Yep. I always believe the answers in the room we have what 18 people watching this right now i guarantee any question you guys have somebody on here knows i know guaranteed that's the coolest thing and that's this. like linking back to the community yeah it's not always like in our community right like like that like me learning today that if you swipe left you'll go to the, pro the profile is this a new feature i don't know but I found it out today and I sh immediately shared it yeah. with everybody. The community is about us all sharing uh -huh. information with each other. It's not just yeah. one person standing up yeah. preaching. Yeah. It's about yeah. everybody sharing, sharing and caring. Sharing yeah. and caring. Yeah. I love that. You oh, care I was wanting to say something else. I've forgotten. Mm. What was I going to say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I want, um, we must not forget to talk about hooks. Mm. Yeah. Let's... Guys, there's something things that we're seeing you guys kelly and i are sitting here talking and we're trying to we're bumping our heads like how can we help you guys even more <laughs> and i'm not perfect yeah. okay i'm still learning the game i'm learning the game i'm learning how to speak social <laughs> media I'm, I'm learning how to yeah. speak social media on instagram on tiktok on youtube on facebook on threads all the things okay because there's lots of platforms I love Instagram. To me, I think this is like the number one platform. This is my favorite one. Yep. You can find me on all the platforms, but this is my number one favorite. This is my baby. This is the one that I want to spend all day, all night. This is all I think about from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep. <laughs> this is the platform. Me too. Yep. But Kelly and I are sitting here chatting it up and we're sitting here thinking, okay, there's a lot of things on here that we can help you guys with. And we're seeing and we're like, ooh, let's let's start teaching you guys about this stuff because first off from her being a social media manager she's gonna be able to tell you okay this is not this is going to repel people and i'm going to tell you if you want to grow your business you better need to have abcs so yeah. kelly go go right <laughs> social media i know <laughs> here she goes give me my soapbox. box right yeah. first of all where's you your reels right i'm just gonna like if i if i could give someone five tips yeah. right mm -hmm. I, I hope i've got five i think i have if i'm gonna give you five tips to make your reels better the first mm -hmm. thing i would do is don't think too much about it 
unless you've got, unless you really have, like, you know, if you're having a day where you're like, I don't know what content to put out, mm. get something off your B roll, okay? Yeah. If you've got a message that you're trying to put out, it should be about what is on the, the screen. If you've if you've got something like a message that you're trying to put out there, people will generally read what's on the screen. Other than they're going to look at what's on the like behind. But if you've got a, something on your B roll, do it. Don't think too much into it. Get some good music to go with it, right? And this the info information that's on a screen really that's the part that needs thought there right because you want people to comment you want interaction here so you want people to comment and you want people to go down into your captions because that's where the views is going to happen right because when i'm writing in your comments and i'm going down to your captions that's when the reel is ticking that's when the views are ticking over that's why i love instagram because mm -hmm. TikTok, you have to swipe in swipe out and that's where your views Build. Oh, can I say but, something but really quick here? Did I say TikTok there? You, I did. Eh? You did. But yes. I have one thing here I want to insert really quick. If they're wanting engagement, they have to give engagement. You have to give yes. to get to you guys. Yes. Okay. Um, All right. Fall back to you. A million, well, because million that's percent. The thing. Like engagement, yeah, yeah. engagement works both. Sorry for my cat. Mm -hmm. Sorry to myself. For, engagement works both ways. So you have to exactly. You have, mm -hmm. what what you get back in you have to give give back out right yeah you give emojis um, you get emojis if you yeah. want an actual conversation to build and uh you have to leave a meaningful comment meaningful and this is that like a sentence is, like i try my huge. best to show up and like yeah really give value and, a, and you know a great way um if you really want to go into engagement right a great way if you've got a great like you give great comments on your on on people's videos cami if you really want to push your views even further um take the comment into your stories and again yeah. that's going to push your reel back into your stories and you'll get your even more views like don't be scared to re put old Perfect. reels into your stories i do it oh, all yeah. the time i go don't all the way to the bottom scared. of my reels and i start yeah. sharing them i share them yeah. that's my billboard you guys my stories is my billboard i don't yes. want to share other people stuff so, i just want to share my own why because it's my billboard if i'm sharing other people's stuff then other people are getting views which is great and we're doing that but at the end of the day that's not my business kelly that's your business your business is actually sharing other people my business is me actually helping other people build their businesses so i need yeah. to be able to share my own stuff to show my value in yeah. that area so yeah i constantly share my old stuff and i repurpose it in other ways <laughs> but i think with it, it's just just try not to overthink it. And with the hooks, mm -hmm. like if you're struggling, message me, message mm -hmm. Kami. We can come up with three or four hooks for you to use. Like it's just what you have to remember with a good hook is it's like what is going to make me respond to your reel. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, I brought this up yesterday in our networking um, a networking oh. session yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I literally did a video that says say hello in the yeah. comments. And that is that's gone viral for me this week. Mm -hmm. That's all I said, mm -hmm. because then people were like, "Hello, yeah. I'm from blah blah." Like, mm -hmm. and I think I said where you're from as well in the captions. But just it doesn't need to be that overthought, yeah. you know. And but if it's for your business, that's different. Ten minutes, fifteen, twenty minutes doing a reel, you guys. This can be done in really twenty seconds. This can be done quick. Yes. Kelly is, I don't know how many takes you do. Typically, I'm a one take kind of gal. Like, it's, it's one, coming out the way it is. Me too. I, I don't if I get a blue going back in. I love doing transitions. I think they're so cool to watch. But really, at the end of the day, that's, I need to be quick because my audience is busy. I'm assuming that I'm talking to a business owner who is a busy business owner. They probably got kids around them. They've probably got all kinds of circus acrobats flying around at the same time. They're running a business. They got to put out flyers. So my people don't got 30 minutes to go create a reel. They probably have 30 seconds and that's so do I. So yeah. 30 to 60 seconds, get it done, get in, get out. And you can, you can get a whole bunch of them made really quick. So excuse my cat. I really, I, and I can't get up to move them. I can't even hear them really. Um, it's so cute though, but I hear every once in a while like a meow. That's okay though. I think we've attracted all the cat businesses, business owners here, because all of my all I see is cats all day, and I've got two, so I'm it's fine keeping with it real. It's keeping it real. You, you attract know? your audience, man. <laughs> but right, all those. I think that was moms. fine. But I'm over, Cammy, over to moms. you now. Over to your like 
What's your top five? Ooh, Ooh my top five things. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> definitely spending time on things. I think that that's a big one. But also on top of that, your cap. So I think of it as real estate. So your real is where you're catching their attention, but their ca the caption is where you're giving like the the meat. You're giving you're giving so much here. And if you're only yep. putting a an emoji there and a hashtag, you are leaving prime real estate, you guys. Mm -hmm. This is where it is. And here's the thing is people will come back and find you years later. I have people that find my stuff years from years ago. My account's like three or four years, five years old. So they'll come back and be like, oh, I found you off of this hashtag. I tell people yep. too, hey, if I'm in a hashtag and I'm searching things and I find somebody, I'm like, hey, nice to connect with you. I found you off of hashtag women support women, you know, or whatever it is. And that's the thing is that that the caption is actually it tells your story that's where yeah. you leave the value right there it's not the it's not the part where you're like hey say say hello yeah that gives you engagement right kelly but at the end of the day it's yeah. actually your stories it's your community it's all of the other pieces of it that you want to be able to funnel that into so that's the first one make sure you're you're given some good value down at the very bottom also make sure that you are in going back and engaging and liking the comments that are there. <laughs> Even the Same. ones that are Same. like a little spammy and a little like, oh, send this to ba -da 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 -da, DM me and I'll sponsor. Just like it and say thanks. That's it. Don't even don't even block. Here's the thing. Why? Because they're actually helping your engagement. You're <laughs> they're helping but your real they are up there. Exactly automatically exactly. share your reel that you just created to your stories yep. blow it all the way up so people can see the whole screen don't keep it small like grab it and blow I mean, it up so do, it's in yeah i'm like think? <laughs> blow that baby up Let's blow go. it up right i know um also at, make sure that when you're doing things now you have other features on your reels you have polls that you can mm -hmm. add into your reels which is really cool like fantastic and here's the thing is i've tested it a few times and sometimes i get a lot of interaction on my polls and sometimes they totally bypass the poll and they put it in the comments i don't care how you engage just engage right i know <laughs> like just engage with my stuff i'm totally fine with it other than that um and then i think the next one is is try to find people that you can collaborate with i love collaboration videos if you are yep. a spiritual woman and you love rocks and crystals and tarot cards and all these things find another woman and pull the card pull the rocks pull the things and do something fun and creative together why because Oh, and before you do that, make sure that you're adding them as a collaborator. So that way it shows up on both of their feeds automatically. Amen. Do not tag them yep. any longer. Show up as a collaborator. So that way when they go on to like this video will actually be a collaboration. So even though we're on Kelly's platform, she's going to tag me as a collaborator. Don't forget. And um, <laughs> it'll show up on mine. I would never well. dream of that. I know. But you know what? Like these are some of those things that we're all learning and it's like if you're not really paying a close attention or someone's gonna be like hey can you add me as a da, 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 then you start to figure those things out i run social media accounts as well for a couple clients i help do all the management as well for my job um i do all kinds of different things in social media and so i'm always learning little itty bitty things why because i don't know everything and i'm not gonna ever yeah. pretend i do <laughs> so i think that those are probably i don't know if those are five but those are my five things like really but get in there and do it Andy's just made a really good point about because I about put, when you've got a new reel right mm -hmm. and you're putting it onto your stories I would say I I used to cover it up and say like mm -hmm. new reel but I don't anymore because don't the algorithm is going to push that video because they do it like I don't know if you know this right but they do it how um, it's done in TikTok now so they push it out to a certain amount of yeah. people if those people love it it gets pushed out to the yeah. next couple of hundred and then the next. so your stories like never forget guys that anyone can view your stories it's not just your followers yeah. so with regards to that question i would just say put it out so in the past we I were able to put out 10 hashtags in our stories as well yeah. what do you suggest on that what are your thoughts on that i'm, a, I'm a little hot and cold you what? i've done <laughs> 
I've actually experimented with it and I didn't notice any difference. I don't know if you've, mm -hmm. but I, I genuinely have tried putting the hashtag because you know you can swipe it yeah. down. Yeah. I have, I do just as well with not putting any hashtags mm -hmm. than I do with putting hashtags. Yeah. But I do know the algorithm pushes that into like the different hashtag categories. Yeah. So yeah. that so is you do have uh, the hashtag. It's not like they're going to find your story off the hashtag. It just no. pushes you into that category. Um, yes. Something I found just recently, and I think waste I shared it with you, is yeah, the hashtag thing. I think it's, I think it's a waste of time as well. I think that having your location on there can be good. But here's what I just learned, you guys. Ooh, this is a good I'll one. To okay, so I lived in Phoenix, Arizona, six months ago. Phoenix is a huge city lots of people 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 are all over the place right and so my when i would tag my location on my story or in my reel or my post it got pushed out but then i moved to decatur illinois and my population is nothing okay it's nothing okay we we grow soybeans here <laughs> yeah. nothing here so i just learned because i had been doing this that if i continue to tag my location in that what was happening is Instagram was saying, oh, well, there's nobody there. So guess what? I'm going to push your reel out to nobody, nobody, nobody. You guys, nobody. my reel views have been so slow and I had no idea this until just this week that if you, if you are in a small town, do not tag your location. Don't even tag your biggest city. Just don't tag any location whatsoever no. and then let it go. And when I was talking to kelly about this she's like oh maybe that's why mine's so good because i don't add my t my location i'm like hmm, maybe I never so. yeah and, and that's the thing is that when if i if i tagged illinois it would actually have better reach but i don't even want to tag chicago i don't want to tag nothing why because i want everybody to find me i don't want just illinois to find me but it's so funny even though i'm not yep. in arizona phoenix anymore i still have tons of content that's tagged phoenix so i get all these arizona followers all the time yeah. and, and i think it's so cool i'm like hey that's awesome you know what i mean like it's so funny i'm like man i missed you when i lived there for seven years darn but, but that's what i was here. saying to you yeah. i i mean i'm i'm from scotland right i live in dubai yeah. for anyone that doesn't know i i live out in the middle east and yeah. i never put my location right but for some reason i have popped into the USA category. I don't know why. I'm from Scotland, yep. but I love it. I am not complaining because I love it. It's like, it's where I belong. I found, I found a place where I belong, like, and I'm loved mm. and I love it. But honestly, I love you. I like, I just love this community so much, but it's weird. Like, yeah. I never, I never hashtag US, USA, like nothing like that, but I've been pushed in and it's wonderful. Yeah. Like, thank you, There's Instagram. on here asking. They're like, but I only market to people in my location. I have a client like this. I have a client that's mm -hmm. only in central Florida. He does not want people from anywhere else. In that situation, yes. Go ahead and add some hashtags and add your location to people in that specific area. If you're not going to do yes. business with anybody else, anywhere else in the world, ever, yes. Yep. Add central Florida 100%. or add whatever it is. Because 100%. Now they can do, find you. do that. Yeah. Yeah. But if, if, if you just, if you're a want to go out to the world area and you don't travel, yes, add your, add exactly. your, your location. Exactly. Like, see, there's the difference. Like, if you're not an online business, you're 100%. If you just want a niche in on where you, where you, you know, you, that's where you mm -hmm. want to like target, that's a different story. Yeah. But if you are an online business and you want to go worldwide, don't put your location, don't close yourself off like yeah. that. You know, the looking, the looking is giving just gave us a big comment. And I just want to um, tell them to go ahead and go message me in my Instagram and let me um, chat with them about what it is that they're doing. Maybe there's something there that you and I can okay. help them with. Um, so, so, sorry about that. I saw that pop in. I don't want you guys to give up. There's things on here that you may, no. you don't know what you don't know, right? And even if you do know it, maybe there's something that needs to be tweaked. So that way you can get out there. Hooks. Let's talk about hooks. Yeah. Like I know how to do content. I know how to do co I know how to do reels. I know how to do transitions. But let's talk about hooks because I can always get better on my hooks. And you're a hook queen. And I know we kind of touched on this in the past. But 
Can you give us like a few hooks that like somebody could take from this and like go practice this week? Yeah, right. right. Here's three. First one, just say hello in the comments. This is my easy peasy lemon squeezy one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to give you four actually. The second one, introduce, this is huge, right? Introduce yourself and ask, ask your followers where they're from. Ask them yeah. where they're from. My name's Kelly. I'm from Scotland. I live in Dubai. Where are you from? So do that. The third one, I would say, um, I'm trying to th you know what? Do something like, like I I'm doing it a little bit more as well. Like, guess what? And then just be like, go and read, go and look in the captions and then tell them about yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell them about your business. Tell them about what you do. Mm -hmm. Maybe offer them something for free. Did you know that Cami offers a free, is it 20 minutes? Actually. 15 minutes. And I do a free strategy session. So if you are a business owner, I do a full free strategy session and give you probably a good six months worth of next steps for your business. So, see? yeah. So, see? Check people's bio and even and check their links. <laughs> people are offering stuff. Yes. And yeah. that's the thing, like, there's so many. And I think there's actually, there's your fourth one. Mm -hmm. Like, did yeah. you know? Did you know? Oh, like I'm going to tell you a secret mm -hmm. or something like that, and actually go yeah. in the cap. Let them tell them in the yeah. captions. I offer you a free, especially if you're into like a fit, like your fitness or your like business strategy mm -hmm. coaching. Mm -hmm. If you offer yes. a free guide or free something, yeah. tell tell them in your captions. Yeah. Don't it's assume free. anybody knows anything. Don't no. assume just because your platform has been there five years. Don't assume that everybody knows exactly what you do because you have no idea how many conversations I have on a daily basis where they're like, oh, yeah. how do I schedule a call with you? And I'm like, it's in my bio. I, <laughs> the link's no. in my bio. It's in my bio. It's in my bio. Everything's right? in the bio. And, yeah, but people don't, don't assume anything. Like you constantly have to share and tell who you are, what you do, when you do it, where you do it and why you do it exactly it's the five w's guys we all learned it in kindergarten who what when where and why mm -hmm. yep then you yep. look at this should have could have would have you should have done it yeah. should have could have would have i love that that's oh. one of my favorite i love seeing that so let's kind of wrap this up um let's I wrap it up one last topic for us to talk about though um how do you plan your instagram reels for your clients or for yourself? What are your tips? I've got some of my own tips, but I'd love to know yours. And let's kind of chat through that. What do you mean? Like, how do I do it for my clients? Yeah, like how do you brainstorm those ideas? How do you, do you storyboard your content or do you schedule your posts? Like, how do you come up with those real ideas? A bit of both actually, like I like to work, I know we touched on this yesterday with each other. I do I do work on a day-to-day -day basis, right, because the clients that I have. But some of my clients I'll actually do a week in advance. And I love, we're both planners. Me and Cami, we love to plan out. So, like, for each, have I got a planner sheet? No. But for every client that I have, I've actually got, like, a Sunday to Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I plan every single day. Right. And I think and that's definitely how I work with the, the coffee reels as well. So it's like I know exactly what I'm going to be doing that day. But things change, you know, yeah. like sometimes something happens and maybe someone doesn't want that to go out at that moment. And then you have to like move it. So then that moves your whole schedule. Mm -hmm. It's good times. But yeah, I would say, yeah, I try and I would say if you like if you're trying to figure this out, just one step in front of the other like just focus on maybe even do two three days at a time mm -hmm. like don't don't get stressed about it don't worry about it that's why i was saying before about don't don't beat yourself up trying to think of content make it as easy as possible and the shorter the better that's yeah. so long so long on us there. like mm -hmm. don't worry about if it's three seconds it's three seconds yeah but don't go too long either mm -hmm. it's a really toughy isn't it it's it's not it's true. easy it's true because i do a lot of educational content and mine will be up between somewhere between 15 seconds to 45 seconds but if i'm doing an yeah. educational value yeah. i can go to a minute because my audience will allow me to do that you know yeah i'm considered like a teacher right so i can teach you that quick lesson within a minute um so 
funny because you say I only plan two or three days at a time. I'm actually a little bit different. So when I'm working for myself or for my clients that I work with, there's evergreen content and then there's relevant content in my eyes. Yeah. So evergreen is those topics that are always going to be the same. So for example, for me as a business coach, I can talk to you about sales and marketing. I can talk to you about social media. I can talk to you about strategy, planning, um, you know, all the things that come underneath that business. And I can create content and have that scheduled out. I typically don't like to go more than a month. But then on top of that, every day, yeah. I like to create one new piece of content. So either it's going in my draft or I'm immediately posting it, depending on the topic of what it is. So that way, like today, I'm sick. I have a cold. I don't know. Hopefully you guys don't hear it so bad. But, you know, if I don't feel good and I don't want to create something today, that's okay. Why? Because I already have something in my draft or I already have something scheduled mm -hmm. to go out. So I use a use lot of different schedules. Do you use a schedule or do you have a um, system do. that you use like later or Metricool or some of the other plot food suites and like that? Metricool, like I... But see what you were just saying there about drafts? Yeah. Always keep stuff in your draft. Always. Even the blooper things. You never know. Yeah. That's huge. That could save your day. Like what you're yes. saying, there might be a day where you've got a migraine, you're not feeling well. Yeah. Schedule so something out of your drafts. That was that was made last night as I was hopped up on some cold medicine, you guys. Like I was like, I'm was not that the one where you were alone? Oh no. <laughs> that was before that, but that was a fun one. That was fun. I like to be able that. to take it and it was like mm -hmm. that song is so popping right now like mm -hmm. i want a man da, 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 whatever it says and i was like okay i need to make this for my own i'm looking for a woman <laughs> who does, who needs this and who's open to coaching and who's this and that da, da, da. so you can turn I songs into your to to speak to who it is that you need so use it for your own for your own good right you don't have to do what everybody else does um yeah you know so, but I actually got that I, that song off of somebody else. I was like, ooh, I really like this song. And then I can go in, save the song, and go back and create the and stuff later. Yes. So I'd love to know, whoever is watching, we want to be able to give some new, some more content to you guys. So if you have a question, you're like, ooh, I really want you guys to answer this on your next question or your next live, excuse me then drop it down there because we're going to be doing some Q&A. We're going to be doing some stuff like that. Um, but I think before we end today, we have a raffle contest giveaway thing. <laughs> do yeah. you want to talk about it or do you want me to go forward? Well, you go for it. You go for it. It's for <laughs> I'm so excited to do this though. All right. Because we love you guys so much. I love to show up. I believe in servant leadership and I've been doing it for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you guys, Kelly's heart is exactly the same. We absolutely love to be able to give back. We probably give back way more than we probably should sometimes, but we just love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. So we're going to be running from today's Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are going to be looking in the comments we want we're going to be offering two free coaching sessions with both of us i don't know if you're no. up or below but with both of us so you're getting two coaches for two sessions to help you guys with your strategy your business and your social media strategy all you have to do is tell us below why we should want to work with you sell us on working with you this is a good no. project you guys for you to be able to do that because you have to be able to say, hey, I need help. Brag about yourself, ask for help, put it down below. Put it down below, brag and ask. I'm working really hard. I need help with brag this. And ask. I will show up. And here's the thing is that if you win these two coaching sessions, the hardest part is gonna be showing up. So make sure you we'll, show up. We'll be you there. Get two free sessions with us. Um, and then after that, we'll make sure that you have enough like of juiciness to be able to keep running forward with that plan that we give you and that we work together on that we all agree on. So yeah. on Saturday, we're going to be announcing it. So if you have friends, if you have family, if you know people that are like, oh my God, you two could literally change my cousin's life, drop it below. Okay. Go tell them right now we are going to be grabbing, I think one, but you never know. Maybe, maybe, maybe something is set on our heart, you know, and uh, we do more. So you never know. Yes. So you never know. grab it below. 
Kelly, I want to thank you so much for doing what you're doing because I was able to find you because of what you're doing. And I just want to, I just want to tell you, thank you so much. And I'm so happy that we get to be in each other's lives on a daily basis and that we are building relationships and connecting and helping change other people's lives and I'm in their businesses. And I'm so happy just to be partnered with you. So we've got a lot of good things coming. I love you to bits. I know we've got a lot of good things coming. I just, I'm so glad to have you in my life, honestly. And guys, watch this space. I mean, Kelly, yeah. here, here we go. Yes, that's right. we're that's right. going to do well, this. Let's, let's let everybody go back to what they're doing. Don't I forget, know. go tell everybody oh, all your There'll be more lives coming, family. guys. Drop it below. Be we're going to be going through the comments, and we will be picking somebody um, from below. But tell us, brag about who you are, and tell us what you need, and we're going to be coming down there. Okay. And even if you do put it on there, don't worry. We will not ignore you. We will still reach out to you no matter what. Um, so drop it below. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You guys, Cammy, thank, you, thank guys. you for your time today as yes. well. And thank you to you all for, for, sorry, there's my cat. I'll go and feed my cat now. <laughs> I heard him this time. He's like, goodbye. Okay, yeah, bye, guys. <laughs> bye. Right, bye, guys. Bye, guys. Yes.